Hi, this is Ishmael. After the beep, leave me a message about a book you love. I transcribe and share at least one voicemail every day. Hey, I want to talk about the book thief. It took me two or three times starting it before I actually got into it because I was really put off and scared by the narrator. It's a common known fact about the book thief that it's narrated by death. And that can be really scary and weird going into a book and knowing that it's narrated by death. A couple of times I started it and I put it down, but finally I was like, I really, really want to know what happens. And so I started it again, and this time I couldn't put it down because all the characters were just so profound. The thing that it taught me was that sometimes it feels like our stories, my life, my story, is being written by the bad things that happen to me and to everyone else. And that's what it seems like in the book thief. Everything about them is being controlled by their situation. You know, they're in World War II Germany and everything just seems like it's falling apart. And sometimes you can feel this like palpable hopelessness, just like we feel. But the thing is they don't give in to the palpable hopelessness. And even though you can feel that they might know that everything might not turn out right, they still make good decisions. I needed that. I needed that lesson that I don't make the right choices because I know things are going to turn out right. I make the right choices because they're the right choices. And even if things don't turn out the way they're supposed to, the way I want them to, it's about doing the right thing. And all of these characters came so dear to me because that's what they did. Even though sometimes you feel like they know their stories being written by death, they still look in its face and say, whatever, we're still going to triumph. And I'm about to start college and I'm about to embark on this new thing in my life. And I just needed that. I needed to know that I can look in the face of whatever's going on and say, no, I'm going to do this anyway.